morning students welcome to the fifth session of sequences and series in the previous class we finished off with the arithmetic progression or ap in today's class we will start off with a new topic that is geometric progression or gp okay so the name of this kind of sequence is geometric progression or in short we can call it as gp just like ap geometric progression or gp is a sequence of numbers the only difference between ap and gp is that in ap you have a common difference whereas under gp we have a common ratio so i can define a gp as a sequence of numbers wherein we have a common ratio between any two consecutive terms okay for example i will take the example say 3 comma 6 comma 12 comma 24 comma 48 comma so on okay so we have the sequence of numbers 3 comma 6 comma 12 comma 24 comma 48 and so on so this is an infinite sequence of numbers because after 48 i have written three dots indicating that this is an infinite sequence so it never ends it goes on now the first term of this sequence is 3 second term is 6 third term is 12 fourth term is 24 fifth term is 48 and so on now under ap we performed the difference between consecutive terms here we shall perform the ratio between consecutive terms second term divided by first term that is 6 by 3 gives us what 3 to the 6 okay so second term by the first term second term divided by the first term we got it to be 2 similarly third term divided the second term 12 is the third term second term is 6 12 by 6 what does it give us again we are getting the value as 2 similarly fourth term minus third term that is 24 divided by 12 12 to the 24 again we get the value to be 2 so what are we observing here when we perform the ratio between any two consecutive terms consecutive terms means terms which is which are right next to each other one after the other first and second term second and third term right when we perform the ratio between consecutive terms we see that we are getting a constant ratio here in this case the constant ratio we got it to be 2 so such a sequence of numbers we can call it to be a geometric progression or a gp okay so this is one example for a gp so this is a gp with first term 3 and common ratio 2 so once again i repeat the definition of gp we can define a gp as a sequence of numbers wherein we have a common ratio or a constant ratio in between any two consecutive terms one more example we'll see for gp i can take 1 by 3 comma minus 1 by 9 then i can have plus 1 by 27 minus 1 by 81 and so on okay so this is another sequence of numbers i have 1 by 3 first term second term is minus 1 by 9 third term is 1 by 27 fourth term 
minus 1 by 81 and so on. Again, this is an infinite sequence of numbers. So, we will uh, perform the ratio between consecutive terms again. Second term divided by the first term minus 1 by 9 whole divided by 1 by 3. So, what do we get? 3 1s are 3 3s are 9. So, we get it to be minus 1 by 3. Again, third term divided by the second term we have 1 by 27 whole divided by minus 1 by 9. So, what do we get? 9 ones are 9 threes are 27. So, again we get it minus 1 by 3. Fourth term divided by the third term minus 1 by 81 whole divided by 1 by 27. 27 ones are 27, 27 threes are 81. Again we get it to be minus 1 by 3. So again here we can observe that we are having a constant ratio in between any two consecutive terms. Hence we can treat this sequence of numbers to be a GP. So what is a GP? Slight change between AP and GP. Under AP we had a common difference whereas here under GP we are having a common ratio, a constant ratio. Now the first term of a GP we will denote it by the small letter A and the common ratio this is the first term of a GP ok. No change from AP, we are using the same uh, symbol, small letter A, but for common ratio, we will use small letter R. So, small letter R denotes the common ratio of a GP. Okay. So, small letter A denotes first term of a GP small letter r denotes the common ratio of a gp now look at the first gp the first sequence of numbers we have 3 comma 6 comma 12 comma 24 comma 48 and so on okay now what is the first term for this gp it is 3. So, what is the symbol used for first term? Small letter A. So, I can write A equals 3 for this GP. Again, what is the common ratio that we found out? Look here, we found out the common ratio to be 2. So, what is the symbol for common ratio? Small letter R. So, I can write small r equals 2 ok. Now I will write this sequence of numbers this GP in terms of A and R ok. Look at this so we have a 3 here I write the 3 as it is then 6 I will write it as 3 into 2 ok. First term as it is into the common ratio 2. 3 2s are 6 ok. Then third term first term as it is first term is 3 into 2 square. So 2 square is 4 4 3s are 12. So what am I doing? I am writing this given GP in terms of its first term as well as common ratio. So, the first term I have written it as it is, then the second term 6 I have written it as A into R, 3 into 2, ok. Then the third term 12 I have written it as A into R square, ok. R is 2, 2 square, 2 twos are 4, 4 threes are 12, we get back 12. Similarly, how can you write the fourth term? I can write it as 3 into 2 
power 3. So I have 3, 3 into 2 power 1, 3 into 2 power 2, 3 into 2 power 3. 2 cube is 8, 8 threes are 24. Similarly, 48, the next term, I can write it as 3 into 2 power 4 and so on. 2 power 4 gives us 16, 16 threes are 48. So you can see that I have written a given GP in terms of its first term and the common ratio. So if I have in general say a GP with first term small a and common ratio small r, how can I write the terms of the GP? So the first term is small a, common ratio is small r. I can write it as first term as it is. Second term is nothing but a into r, right? That is a r. Third term is nothing but a into r square, right? a into r square. Fourth term a into r cube. Fifth term a into r power 4. Similarly, so look at this. First term is a. Second term is a into r power 1. Third term is a into r power 2. Fourth term is a into r power 3. Fifth term is a into r power 4. So, so on. In general, how can I write the nth term? Third term is a into r power 2. Fourth term is a into r power 3. Fifth term is a into r power 4. So, nth term, I can write it as a into r power n minus 1. Nth term, I can write it as what? a into r power n minus 1. So, this form of a GP is called the general form of a GP. This form is called the general form of a GP and the nth term we can call it as the general term. So what is the general form of a GP? If I have a GP with first term small a, common ratio small r, then the general form of a GP is a comma a r comma a r square comma a r cube and so on. Nth term is a r power n minus 1. So nth term I can call it as the general term of a GP. Okay, moving on. That is about what a GP is. Just like under AP, the sum to first n terms of a GP, the symbol I can use S suffix n. Sn is the symbol for sum of the first n terms of a GP. Okay. Sn is a symbol for sum of the first n terms of a GP. So the formula for a GP, the sum of first n terms of a GP with the a as the first term, r as the common ratio is Sn equals a into r power n minus 1 by r minus 1. So please make a note of this formula students. Sn is the symbol for sum of first n terms of a GP. Formula for Sn is Sn equals a into 
r power n minus 1 whole divided by r minus 1. What is small letter a here? Small letter a is first term of the GP. Small letter r is the common ratio. So, the formula for sum of first 10 terms is Sn equals A into R power N minus 1 by R minus 1. Then, moving on, the next concept, just like an AP, just like under AP, we had arithmetic mean or arithmetic uh, AM, the short form is AM. Similarly here we have geometric mean or GM, okay? something called as the geometric mean, geometric mean short form is GM. Just like under AP we had arithmetic mean or AM, we have under geometric progression GP, we have something called as geometric mean or GM. Now what is geometric mean? The definition goes like this, suppose I say I have two positive numbers A and B, okay, so these are two positive numbers the word positive is important here so a and b are what kind of numbers they are two positive numbers then another number capital G is called the geometric mean then another number capital G is called the geometric mean of A and B if the sequence of numbers, if the sequence of numbers small a comma capital G comma small b is a GP. So this sequence of numbers is a GP. Such a number capital G is called the geometric mean of the positive numbers small a and small b. I repeat the definition once again. Uh, we have to consider two positive numbers small a and small b. Then the geometric mean say capital G of small a and small b is the number such that the sequence of numbers small a comma capital G comma small b this sequence of numbers is a GP. So in other words just like we defined arithmetic mean or AM we are defining geometric mean. Instead of having the sequence of numbers to be an AP here we are saying the sequence of numbers must be a GP. So in simple words if I have two numbers two positive numbers A and B then the geometric mean of A and B is the number which must be inserted in between A and B such that the resulting sequence of numbers A comma G comma B will be a GP. Okay now just like under AP Suppose we are asked to insert say three numbers in between A and B such that the resulting sequence is a GP or we are asked to insert four numbers in between A and B such that the resulting sequence is a GP five numbers, six numbers. So if we have in general some finite number small n, what is the formula to find out the common ratio and how are we going to find out the terms, okay. So let us say we have uh, two positive numbers, two positive numbers small a and small b okay 
suppose say we have we are having two positive numbers small a and small b and we are asked to insert n numbers in between a and b let those n numbers be capital g1 capital g2 capital j3 so on capital gn okay so we are having two positive numbers small a and small b we are asked to insert n numbers in between a and b which are the n numbers g1 g2 g3 up to gn such that the resulting sequence so if i insert these n numbers in between a and b what will the resulting sequence be it will be a comma g1 comma g2 comma g3 comma so on comma gn comma b this sequence of numbers must be a gp so we will be knowing the values of a and b only we have to find out these n numbers using the values of a and b so how can we do that there is a simple formula the common ratio small letter r we will find out using the formula b by a whole power 1 by n plus 1 so you remember this formula students when you have a situation like this you are given two numbers two positive numbers a and b and we have to insert n numbers in between a and b such that the resulting sequence must be a gp then we find out the common ratio small r by the formula b by a whole power 1 by n plus 1 so a and b value will be knowing n value will be knowing because we will be asked to insert three numbers if you are asked to insert three numbers then value of n is 3 if we are asked to insert four numbers then the value of n is 4 since we are asked to insert n numbers so we have put the value of n as it is okay so this is the formula for the common ratio then the number g1 will have a into r a value will be knowing r value we calculate by this formula then the number first number g1 will be a into r then similarly number g2 will be a into r square similarly number g3 will be a into r cube g4 will be a into r power 4 so on gn will be nothing but a into r power n okay so all we have to do is remember this formula small r equals b by a whole power 1 by n plus 1 then the first term g1 will be a into r g2 will be a into r square g3 will be a into r cube similarly gn nth number will be a into r power n when we are finding out the formula when we are solving problems based on this we will get to know how this formula works there i'll be telling you again how to find out the n numbers okay last thing is that say i have two numbers two positive numbers small a and small b okay we have two positive numbers small a and small b let capital a be the arithmetic mean of a and b okay capital a is arithmetic mean of positive numbers a and b capital g be the geometric mean capital g b the geometric mean of a and b a and b are two positive numbers 
capital A is the arithmetic mean of A and B. Capital G is the geometric mean of A and B. Then the arithmetic mean capital A is always greater than or equal to the geometric mean. Okay. So you remember this point students. Arithmetic mean of two positive numbers is always greater than or equal to the geometric mean of those positive numbers. So I have taken two positive numbers A and B. If these are two positive numbers and capital A is the arithmetic mean, capital G is the geometric mean of A and B, then always this is true. That is arithmetic mean is greater than or equal to the geometric mean of these two numbers. Okay, so that is about GP. Now we will solve problems based on GP. We will get an idea of what a GP is. Uh, moving on to the problems, look at the first problem. The first problem states that find the 20th and nth terms of the GP 5 by 2, comma 5 by 4, comma 5 by 8, comma so on. So the question is asking us to find out the 20th term and the nth term or the general term of the GP. The GP, first three terms of this GP are given 5 by 2, comma 5 by 4, comma 5 by 8 and so on. Okay, we start the solution like this. What is given to us, we will just write. So the given GP, the given GP is, what is the given GP? 5 by 2, comma 5 by 4, comma 5 by 8, comma so on. So the given GP is 5 by 2, comma 5 by 4, comma 5 by 8, comma so on. So the first three terms of the GP are given. Now what is the first term of this GP? It is 5 by 2. What is the symbol for first term? It is small letter A. So A equals 5 by 2. Value of small a is 5 by 2. Then we have to find out the common ratio small r. Okay, Common ratio symbol is small letter r. How do you find out common ratio? Second term divided by first term or third term divided by second term. Any one we can do. I will do the second term by the first term. Second term is 5 by 4 divided by first term is 5 by 2. 5 and 5 cancels. 2 ones are 2 twos are 4. Okay, 2 twos are 4. So what are we left with? The answer is 1 by 2. So we found out the first term. First term of this GP is 5 by 2 common ratio denoted by small letter r is equal to 1 by 2. Now that we have found out the first term and the common ratio, we can find out the 20th term and the nth term of the GP, right? Now, uh, in the while explaining uh, the general form of a GP, I told you first term is A, second term is A into R, third term is A R square, fourth term is A R cube, fifth term is A R power 4 and so on. So the nth term is what? A R power n minus 1, right? So we know that we know that nth term we will denote it as a n first term is a second term is a 2 third term is a 3 similarly nth term i will denote it as a n so what is the nth term or the general term of a gp just now we saw that it is a into r power 
n minus 1, right? a into r power n minus 1. We know the values of a and r. We'll substitute here. So what is value of a? It is 5 by 2. What is value of r? It is 1 by 2. So we have 1 by 2 whole power n minus 1. So I have 5 by 2 into 1 by 2 whole power n minus 1. Okay. On further simplifying this, I can write this as 5 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 whole power n minus 1. So I have written 5 by 2 as 5 into 1 by 2. 1 by 2 whole power n minus 1 as it is I have written. Now what is the power of 1 by 2 here? It is 1. What is the power of 1 by 2 here? It is n minus 1. So 1 by 2 whole power 1 into 1 by 2 whole power n minus 1. What do we have? We have 5 as it is. I can write this as 1 by 2 whole power 1 plus n minus 1. So plus 1 minus 1 cancels and I am left with 5 into 1 by 2 whole power n. I can further write this as 5 by 2 power n. So what is the nth term of this GP? It is 5 by 2 power n. So we have found out the nth term of this GP. What else should we find? We have to find the 20th term. Now what is the 20th term? So we know that a20 20th term look at this general term we know it to be a n equals a into r power n minus 1 so in the place of n I have 20 here so what will the formula become what is the 20th term a into r power 20 minus 1 or this is a into r power 19 okay so substituting a and r what do we get i can write a as 5 by 2 r value is 1 by 2 whole power 19 just simplifying the same way like this i can have 5 by 2 power n n value is 20 here so i have to write 5 by 2 power 20 so the value of the 20th term the 20th term of this gp is nothing but 5 by 2 power 20 since the nth term is 5 by 2 power n moving on to the second problem the second problem states that find the 12th term of a gp whose eighth term is 192 and common ratio is 2. First we will write what is given in the question. So it is given that, we will start the solution like this, given eighth term is 192. So what is the symbol for eighth term? I can write it as A8 equals 192 and common ratio what is symbol for common ratio small r common ratio is 2 what do we need to find we need to find 12th term what is the symbol for 12th term it is a 12 we need to find we need to find a 12 okay now common ratio we already have to find out a 12 we need to find out the first term so we will find out the first term using this information okay we have a 8 
or the eighth term to be 192. But what is A8? A8 I can write it as A into R power 7, right? Equals 192. What have I done? I have written A8 in terms of A and R. So the eighth term in terms of A and R will be A into R power 7. But we know the value of R. R value is 2. So what will this become? I have A into 2 power 7 equals 192. So we have to solve this equation to find out value of A. What I am going to do is, I am going to write 192 as powers of 2 or factors of 2 and we will see uh, in which factor 192 simplifies. Okay. So I will uh, start dividing 192 by 2. Okay. 2 minus 18. 2 6 are 12, then 2 4 are 8, 2 8 are 16, 2 2 are 4, 2 4 are 8, 2 12 are 24, then we have 2 3 are 2 6 are 12, then we have 2 3 are 6. So I can write 192 as 2 power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2 power 6 into 3. So I write 192 as uh, the left hand side as it is a into 2 power 7. 192 I write it as 2 power 6 into 3. Okay, so dividing this, so 2 power 6, I cancel out with 2 power 7, okay, so I am left with a 2 here, I have a 3 here, taking this 2 that side, what am I left with, value of A, I get it to be 3 by 2. So what have we done, I have just found out the factors of 192. So we get it to be 2 power 6 into 3. So I have a 2 power 7 on the LHS. So on further simplifying that, 2 power 6 cancels out with 2 power 6 on the LHS. I am remaining with a 2 here. I am remaining with a 3 here. I take the 2 that side. So value of A, I get it to be 3 by 2. Now that we have the value of A as 3 by 2, value of R as 2, I can find out the 12th term A12. Okay, now we know that A12, so using A and R, A12, I can write it as what? A into R power 11. A12 is nothing but A into R power 11. What is value of A? Value of A is 3 by 2. So I substitute here. Value of R is 2. 2 power 11. So we have 3 by 2 into 2 power 11. So on simplifying this, 2 ones are 2. 1, 2 cancels here. So what am I left with? 3 into 2 power 10. So I am left with 3 into 2 power 10. So the 12th term of this GP is 3 into 2 power 10. You can use the calculator or you can uh, multiply this and further write the simplified answer. So that is it for uh, today's class students. In the next class, we will solve uh, more problems on GP. Thank you.